That is where we are. What will preserve you? We can speak in tongues and miss heaven. We can win souls and miss heaven. We can see visions and miss heaven. We can prophesy and still miss heaven. We can cast out devils and miss heaven. We can perform miracles and still miss heaven. We can read the whole Bible and miss heaven. We can attend all the church services, fellowship activity and camp meetings and miss heaven. We can have the anointing and miss heaven. We can have all spiritual gifts and miss heaven. We can be rich, prosperous, and wealthy and still miss heaven. And I'm not bashing that because you have a lot of rich people who will be in heaven. We can give and sow seeds and still miss heaven. We can wield the power and be influential and still miss heaven. We can have a powerful voice of singing. Hope I get the track. I want to play the powerful voice and still miss heaven. We can also be famous and popular and miss heaven. We can be a leader, a minister, a public speaker and miss heaven. We can be married and have a great job and be a good person and still miss heaven. But you cannot live a holy life and miss heaven. Our currency for heaven is holiness and holy living. Without which, no man would see God. Do you know why? Because holiness is the beauty of the believer's life here in this world. Holiness is the only element that will preserve you as your journey in life. And if you mess up, oh God, Fix it fast. If you are a cuss out in the office, fix it fast. If you get vexed and you blow steam through your ears, fix it fast. As a matter of fact, if your person wants to get angry quickly, please get angry in the morning. The Bible said, don't let the sun go down upon your rag. But you get angry in the evening. You have a short time to release this. Get angry in the morning. Hebrews 12, 14 says, Follow peace with all men and holiness without which no man will see the Lord. We don't just want you to play the keyboard. We want you to play the keyboard from a position of holiness. We don't just want you to operate on the sound system. We want you to do it from a position of holiness. Holiness is what is required. That's why in the future we will see the apostle. He wants to go and lead worship and so on. But you'll see him clothed in white linen. And the Bible says the white linen garment is the righteousness of the saints. It means here for it to have right living in his life. And your lifestyle, that's why Jesus is coming with the word. The lifestyle is now uh, reflected in your heavenly garment. Don't worry, we have yellow and blue and all kind of fancy here now. But in heaven, your garment reflects your lifestyle right living